the money motorway you want to go over? Just is there anything else apart from that? Maybe. I mean, time, but yeah, the, we'll try that at the end. Yeah. So when we get back, we'll have to probably do it around here. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit busier than normal. Uh, so what do you know about motorways? Um, not matters to yeah. be honest. Yeah. So we have virtually done them before when we did the dual carriage ways. It's the same kind of thing as that. So speed wise, what would that be? At seventy. Yep. Um, but what you're gonna have today, uh, if I try to draw this in, is. You might know around Birmingham, if you drive around the motorways, it changes a lot the speed. So normally it's 70, but you know you get the, uh, we said before about the signs, like that, where it says max speed, whatever. Yeah. What does that mean? Like around town, when it says max speed. That's like a recommended That's it. maximum speed. Because we still had that one that said max speed 50, didn't we, on lessons. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're still on the way to where we're going today. When do you have to do it though? Do you remember when it's compulsory? Or mandatory, it says. What to do if it was yeah. a sign like that? No, not that one, but when would it be? Oh, like if it's 50, but... If it's in a circle. That's it. So the same applies on motorways, because what you're going to have today, probably, depends if we're lucky or not, um, you'll get signs that are lit up on the, the overhead signs, the gantries, like over the motorway, mm -hmm. and there'll be like red lights like that. So they still mean they're legal. Um, you do get some of these the same, but I don't think the way we're going today, you'll see any of those. But you do get like, the advisory ones, and which are orange on the motorway. So if it's flashing like an orange light, and there's two lights there, two lights at the bottom, that's advice, which is just means slow down. You can, it looks like 401, that's 50. So it's like slow down to avoid a jam, because if everyone keeps speeding up, you get a big jam forming. But these ones you must do, and it's important, because on the motorway around here, there's a speed cam of roughly every 20 seconds. So you must be careful of speed. Uh, that's why I've got the speed on today. Um, it's ultimately up to you. Probably will be 70 anyway, because it's, what day is it, Saturday? Yeah, so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, been on the middle of the holidays. But you have to be careful of these, because they apply from there. And you can go 70, 60, 50, 60, 50, 60, 70, quite quickly. So you have to be on the ball. Um, they haven't all got cameras on, but a lot of them have. So you have to be careful of that. Well, anyway, so if you want to turn on and get going, we we'll have a look as well at using something like cruise control, which is quite easy, it makes driving a lot easier. So we'll do that on the way, and then we can practice that on the motorway. Well, so if you come out of here, we'll have to go like, left and right, because you're not it's supposed to go there. Because okay. yeah. I can't see that way. It's, um, if you're shooting arms around, it's not too bad, but I can't see that way at all. So I won't be so much about driving, but if we still need to work as long as we can. Have you driven, driven since you passed? No. No. Nope. So this is effectively just carrying on from last time. Okay, so left and then round, uh, but most of it's up to you. So that car's quite a big back. That wasn't there when I pulled up. Actually it was, it was the other one that wasn't. And like we did on lessons, you might have to go round, reverse a bit, that's up to you, because it's, it's almost impossible to go round in one, in one turn. Good that you gave yourself the maximum chance by doing that. <laughs> uh, it often doesn't work out. Oh, every time I picture up, I have to go back a bit. Yeah, yeah, it depends what car's part there. If it's a small car, it's not so bad. It's one thing you won't be doing on motorways is reversing. That's good. So motorways are actually quite easy because um, it's just the case of go. You know, there's not a lot of clutch work and all that. Um, there's let's see there. a bit of clutch work going on there. Though. That's good. There's not a lot to say till we get there, but I will go over like the cruise control. We'll we'll talk about in a moment. Do you know what that is or not? Uh, I think my dad uses it quite a lot. It's like right, it's nice shot, but when you're driving, it just like keeps the speed the same. Thing, yep. Doesn't? That's it. So it's much easier on a motorway. You don't use it much around town, but you can, but it's just, it's really around right motorway as you sit back. And we'll do a bit of that on the way back just so you practice. So if we go into the road right. <coughs> yeah, no risk sign on the car, it doesn't do what else, it does make quite a big difference because um, people do treat you differently. That's good.
So we're going to take a very slight detour just to go over the cruise control because the motor is really loud. It's quite hard to describe things on there, like in great detail. So if we go next road on the right, and we'll just pop up that road and give that a go. In fact, quite changeable, but there was also, it's, when I pulled up to pick you up, he was lashing down in the rain. Yeah. And it was sunny, so that could affect you on the motorway because you get lots of spray from lorries, which you don't really see that much around town. But um, we're going to be going up towards Tamworth. Uh, it's kind of it's quite a busy part of the motorway. So next left. So the motorway sections will have up to about, uh, I think it's five lanes at the widest point. So it's probably the biggest bit of motorway you can get in this country. So I thought we'd go out of the way to, uh, to try, try the most that we can. So it's going to pull up on the left anywhere around this area. I'm just going to swap a couple of these wires over because uh, one of the reasons I never use the wires on our film lesson is you get this reflection, this wire when the windscreen. But I forgot about that. So we'll just switch these over. Just pull that out. That should look better. Yeah, probably looks better. Um, so you just grab the cruise control, you do the, right, the buttons on the right of the wheel. Oh, you thought that's it down there. One. So if you just press on for now, that just didn't do anything on its server, but that turns it on so it's ready to use. So when you're driving, all you do, see where it says set up or set plus and set minus. Yeah. You just press either of those when you're doing the speed you want to do, and then you come off the gas and you'll just hold speed for you the same. If you want to speed up, you hold the up. And if you want to slow down, you do use the slow down. The slow down doesn't put the brake on, it only slows you down like you come off the gas. So if you use that, anyone behind wouldn't know you're slowing down. So be careful of that. The other one on the right, see where it says can and res. Yeah. That's cancel and resume. So what that's for is, say if you come up to the back of a lorry and you're boxed in, you can't move out because the car's passing you. You can check the mirror, no one there. You press cancel, it slows down a bit. Then when you want to go out, you mirror signal, press resume, it accelerates hard for you. And it does pick up quite fast when you press that. So you can go cancel, slow down, and go resume and it speeds right up. So we'll do that on the way back, but just so you know, it's just going to be a case of pressing mainly up and down, but we'll try the cancelling as well. Where it says off, I don't really ever use off, because when you brake up to the clutch, it comes off on its own. Um, the drawback of cruise control in this car is if you just press the button, it will just play in the back of the lorry, which keep going, it won't slow down. So if you don't brake, it will just keep going, crash into a tree or whatever. You won't get trees in the motorway, but around here, you will just go straight out the end of the road if you don't brake to the clutch. You only have to press them like that and they'll come off. But okay. yeah, we'll try that later on, but that's just a quick explanation of the name. In fact, we'll go into the road left, we'll give it a quick go there, just so you get a feel for it, and then we'll head straight for the motorway. You may not have this in your car, but you, you know, if you do, it's good to have, have uh, practiced it. That's the first time ever teaching I've actually taught him. So I've never had to do it before. That's good, it's good you saw that. That just shows that you, you're aware of what's going on, it's good. We often said about that on lessons about bikes and we never actually got to, to see that happening. Yeah, there was a bike on my test as well which really surprised me because, yeah. you know, so early. Yeah. So left on this. Where was that passing the left or the right on the test? Was it, sorry? It was, that bike, where was the bike? It was in front of me and I had to go round it. Yeah, I think I remember saying actually on the way back. Yeah. yeah. So, cruise control by the way only works above 20 miles an hour. So. We're trying on this road, we'll stay in to, to make it easier. So we've already pressed on, so if you get the speed up a little bit, and then just press up on the set, and there should be a green light comes on the right. So if you come off the gas now, it'll just cruise on its own like that. So we'll see. The thing is, if you change gear, you won't keep going. So if you do third now, that's it. Then you've got to press resume, so the right button, that's it, and it works. So that's why you don't use it much around town. It kind of feel confusing at first, but it's quite good to use. If you break a little bit, that will bring it off, so it's back to normal name. 
So we use our later on, but it does make it easier. It just feels very strange at first. So into the road left. Like if you had it on now, you'd be flying out of control, you know, smashing out the end of the road. I'm still looking, I know you've passed, but I'll still look, because I'm, I'm so much in the habit of looking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <coughs> Have you got a car yet? I haven't, but oh. my boyfriend has, so we'll be Some cruise control, by the way, does break for you down hills, but this one doesn't. And some can sense cars ahead, that's what we call adaptive cruise control. But this one can't do that, so it's like a basic cruise control. That's good. It's great if you do a long journey, it really saves you, so you, you, you feel much less tired when you get there. So, it's, uh, yeah, ahead. I was going to say follow the motorway signs, but there aren't any. So, straight on. What colour are the motorway signs? The, uh, the ones above the black, but the blue ones yeah. mean motorway. Yeah, so there aren't any here. I don't know why they think there will be here, but you can even go right, but we'll go ahead because it's. Um, doesn't really matter which way we go, it's the same sort of thing. about 10 minutes and we'll be there then we're going to do about an hour or so an hour and a bit an hour and a quarter or so in motorway <coughs> now this sometimes I have a sign on the back side of motorway tuition but I thought I'll leave that off it just it's more kind of realistic it doesn't make a lot of difference anyway, people don't, don't really know what it means. So I won't so much now, just follow, I think there are motorway signs, just trying to think. Now I'll give you directions for a little bit, but there will be some signs eventually. If ever's well like here, cruise control would work here, but if ever it starts to struggle, it will turn itself off. So, <coughs> so if you're in the wrong gear, it won't just carry on, it will just say no, cut off. Um, so you don't want bodies today, but just say no, that can happen. So round about right, third exit. Same way we used to go on lessons. It's just the way it looks there, the lanes are quite tight. If anything, the white car was too far over, but that was good. We are going to do one massive roundabout later on. <coughs> You're like Beckett's Farm, but it's got, I think, five lanes. So it's worth looking at that. So straight on still. Um, just all the way to the Maypole. Good there because there's one kind of lurking, a very low car. I wouldn't want to tell that car on the speed bumps. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. making a lot of noise, he's not even going that fast, he's just kind of making loads of noise. Yeah, but what you do now, this is good. This is much harder than motorway stuff because driving around the city is a hard thing to do. But, um, when you get to the Maypole, then we'll follow signs for the motorway. You know, with the bumps we saying on the last couple of lessons about you don't have to slow down for bumps. That car you would because the exhaust hanging on the floor already. So it's the kind of one you'd have to, well, you have to avoid bumps altogether with that. Yeah. It just seems I was like in car parks where um, 
you know, people come out car parks on for a reason and you can't even get out because the ramps are so big you don't want to risk uh, smashing your car yeah, many of you don't have to in the gavi that one so it's alright if you do it there but you don't have to you just just go so try and keep this dead on 20 using the cruise control because it's a good practice it just about works the 20 so if you press up once that's it and then that should be on there's no pedals that should be okay yeah that's it and you just keep it dead on the sign that's good that's for someone else that's fine so this will keep dead 20 all the way Okay, this speed of fluctuates on 2119, but it's dead on 20. But if you drive long distances for a living, not like me, but like sales reps, whatever, this is much better. Better than sort of wearing your feet down. Again, your speed is off, you can't take it set up because this one says 21, but it's not, not that accurate. It's not there, the cruise control turns off. Okay. So you don't have to use it again, but it just comes off every time you brake. It's main locks over long distances, you don't really do it around town. You can, but it's not really recommended, especially on twisty roads. If you have it on on a tight twisty bend, it goes flying when you steer. When we said our lessons about it, it's steering slows you down. Yeah. It pulls hard and it rips you around the corner. So motorway, which way is that? Four, yep, that's good. So from now on, it's all going to be loud, so I'm going to leave the window up. It's probably going to come over a bit. It's quite busy today. First for a chance we've had. The one next to us wheel spin you could even rev too hard. Okay. So wheel spinning, because he shouldn't have gone. That's good. My well, natural speed sounds fell down, look. Someone's hit it. That's if someone's come off fast. I've seen it twice in front of me there. Someone's come off too quick and spun and hit the sign. But um so I won't say much for that, this is still just like we did on lessons, but the new stuff will come in soon. But there's actually nothing new today, it's just what we've done before on motorway. That's good. Yep, that's great. The wheel spin back there from that car, you can't really do in this car because if you do that, it cuts the power and stops it happening. So it's another useful thing to have traction control. It doesn't always work, but it works a lot. So it's still following motorway and Evesham. <laughs> so imagine if you're on a motorway now and there was a sign there, like 50 or whatever, it must be done by there, and the speed cameras are on the back of the signs. Um, so they do work, so you have to be careful of those. But Birmingham is one of the worst places for that because you can easily go through and get like you know, 30 points to be banned for years just after a 10 minute drive because there's camera after camera after camera but as long as you're watching what you're doing then it's no problem now normally they're on 70 anyway if they're not turned on the speed signs you just go the other difference with Birmingham is you can actually drive on the hard shoulder sometimes which you might know so we probably won't do that we won't need to but when it's really busy they open up the hard shoulder and you can drive on it but these are all things we'll cover We'll go over breakdowns and all that kind of stuff. You don't want to break down the motorway, it's bad, but um, hopefully that won't happen. Imagine if you break down there, you try and change the tyre, the, the wind of the car's going past, you rock your car around. It's horrible. Anyway, so leave some, and then we'll get to the motorway. It's only about three minutes away.
that's such a just a head third exit because the hours have been repainted by the way since you test I think maybe just before the repaint of them that was good so it's much easier now than when you had your test you can actually see the hours but Yeah, broad they are now. No signal's fine. Is it? So you're going straight on. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, much lower now. Yep, that's it. So about there you can go middle, middle, left. <coughs> so it's not wrong, you know, there's no, well there is one around me, it's not too close. But straight on now and then the motorway. You said a car behind there isn't going around, like on lessons where you have the L signs on, people just go around straight away. So if you go flat out now, from right down, it's getting really high. And then there won't have a reason to go around at all. That's good. But it is different driving without at least a roof sign on. People do give you more kind of room, which is should be the other way around. <laughs> So we're going, um, thinking what direction it's going. It's still straight on for now, but I'm just thinking the direction on the, the sign. It's trying to hold 70 all the way, because most of this day is going to be 70 flat out. It is important on the motorway to do 70 right up, because um, it's obviously it's all 70. Well, not for everyone, not for lorries. What is the limit for lorries? Uh, I think it's 60. Yep, yeah, that's it. But this is good. Yes, the wind as well. It's very windy today. Yeah, I feel like I'm moving quite a lot. Yeah. It's so it doesn't affect the car much, but if it is affecting us, that means the lorry is going to be blown a lot. So the, the side of a lorry is like a sail on a ship, and it just blows them over. I actually saw a lorry on this roundabout blown on its side ones. So we're going to go second left, because there's two motorways. So second left. It's all going ahead, second exit. Well, the lights are broke, are they? Yeah. So is anyone from the right? That's good. That's good, because that's unusual for them to be broke. Well, just turned off, maybe not broken, but that's very unusual. So this is the motor right now, so now we can go down there, so we just, off we go. So these signs are not on, so it's 70 for now. If they were saying 50 or whatever, that would be advice, because they're orange. Part-time signals, what does that mean? Uh, that means sometimes it's going to have um, those lights on. That's it. Other times but, so as if they're not on now, so flat out plastic, go, that's it, really quick. So right signal goes on. That's why I gotta be quick because that car is just flying down. But when can we join? That's good. That's good. And then fifth. Yeah, the idea of one is a car is not waiting, it's flying down, could overtake whatever was there. So this is all you do, you simply stand in the flight as much as you can and you're looking to move lanes whenever possible. So there's no difference with your carriage way, it's just the same thing, just wider, that's about all. So Distance, how much distance should you have minimum, like on normal lessons? Um, maybe two seconds. Yep, that's it. So a white car ahead is nowhere near two seconds behind the black one. It's not even more, one second. So just holding 70 all the way, that black car's now moved. So could you change lanes if you really had to? Uh, that could do. Yep, so don't want to, don't need to, but we could. So we're going to follow the, not this time, but later on, we're going to follow the M42 and just keep following that. Because Birmingham is quite confusing for the motorway, it's a lot of different uh, different motorways all joined together. So, do we need to get around this white car or not? Um, we might have to yep. in a bit. But before that, so the red signs, what are they saying? Um, it says speed limit. That's it, speed. that's good. So, because of that, I'm not going to bother going around. Is anyone behind? Yeah, there's all someone behind in the motorway. So, that's good. So, these I don't think have cameras on, but if they did, they would be on the back of there, but those haven't. And what do you know about this sign for the M42? What's it saying? Um, you have to like come off to the left. Yep, you see the middle lane also goes that way as well. Yeah. So if you were overtaken, you could, but not where that Range Rover is, and still come over. Because <laughs> a lot of people panic here, you might see in front of us, like the red van has come back. There's no need to do that at all. You can stay in that lane and just come off in that lane. It says here again, both middle and left lane, M42. And now the dots mean, like the dif different dots here, the different lines. Um, where our lines, see that car there's changed over, there's yeah. no need. You could have signed that lane, but people don't read the signs. You see how the arrow, there's like an arrow coming out the tail of the other arrow. So like the white lines coming out yeah. the tail, that means it merges over, changes over. 
later on you'll see a one where he doesn't probably yep so if you were in the middle line you could still have signaled to come off here but we don't signal because we're already in the left line so you don't need signal no because we're in here you don't but there you would so i can't see the time coming over but we're not coming over we're already over that's one vote down so it's solid line what does that mean a less than emergency of course, but what's the speed now? No, it's going to be That's good, that's it. And it says max speed 50, good example. So that doesn't mean the thing on its own, but that does. It looks actually wrong that, because the font looks kind of wrong. There was a time a while ago when they had the wrong font, and they couldn't actually process Look at that one. That's the correct font. So it looks different. Yeah. So the other one was a bit weird, but... So... So you just change, you have to be on the ball when you drive around Birmingham. Most motorways are not allowed this, but Birmingham's really confusing. So this one tells you both lanes join, but this one that we know is fine. See that one is the left lane, but we're going to go into the left lane. So normal like joining a slip road, that's all it is. That's good. So can we drop in after this black 4x4? We see no gas, just so we kind of drops forward, but we drop back. That's good. Because that car is way back, so that was safe to do. And you probably find you don't use the bike much at all on this road, it's just all, all gas. So you see the left lane, the hard shoulder is actually open, but we don't want it because that's only for coming off. I think it's for coming off the next junction. And we don't need to do that, so no point. So this is all you do, it's quite simple, but it's just you've got to be really alert for the speeds. They are pretty constant, but it does change a lot sometimes. What would you do if you want to be in, a, I don't know, you want to be in a different lane, but you can't get into that lane because it's just too many people? That's where the planning comes in. So when it says like the exit, like surely, you got one mile. So if you did 60 miles an hour, how long would it take to do a mile? So how many minutes in an hour? Oh, a minute. Yeah, yeah that's it. That's good. So one mile, so you've got one minute to get left if you had to. So you've got quite a lot of room. Like now, you've got two thirds of a minute, roughly, to get over. So 40 seconds each to get over. So normally what the car did there is completely illegal, but not here because you can. So that black car, that's a bad overtail there. It's going, <laughs> that's right between two cars. Yeah. That's squeezing him. So yeah, if you really can't change lanes, like on the lessons we did around the Maypole, if you can't change, you can't change, you just stay in the lane. But even if your means going the wrong way, that's better than causing a pileup. Not with the megabus around as well. So, at the moment, no point in going around the megabus because we can't get around him, you know, because he's doing the speed anyway. But this is why you have the traffic management, because it's so busy around this area. It's the busiest part of any motorway, apart from sometimes our London's quite bad, but this is the most congested bit of motorway in the country. And this is a Saudi as well, so it's a bit worse in the week when all the lorries are on the road. Yeah. What does that red X mean in the left lane? Uh, what does that mean? Does that mean that this lane is closing? Yeah, so, so it's like, now this lane's fine, that one was in the far left. Oh, okay. So the hard shoulder's closing. But could you move if you had to? So looking left, is anyone going to join apart from that little car? No, that's good, that's great. Got some horses there. <laughs> so yeah, it's like our lessons we did in Redditch where we said you don't have to always move. This one, has he got a separate lane or is that blue truck trying to join our lane? He's trying to join. That's it, but you've got loads of room, so that's fine. Anyone else going to squeeze up behind? No. no. What the car did at the beginning was completely wrong, that one he shot past, he never did that on slip road. There's no need to do that at all, he just kind of overtook for no reason. If someone's going a bit slow in front, we weren't. If they are, you might have to, but we weren't going slow at all. So, we don't have to change, we don't want to change, but could you change? Yes. Yep, that's good. But no point, because you're not going to get anywhere, so it's going to keep that gap a little bit bigger. So when they go into the gantry, we count to two, so the back of there is it's like sort of one second, two, so a little bit further back. That's it. So you get to the end of the second word second. So when he goes under the bridge, this will be better. It's like sort of one second, two second, three. That's like three and a half, something like that. That's good. What's this sign saying now? Uh, 
does that look? There's going to yeah, be that's speed sign. Oh, sorry. That's it. That's good. So lots of eight. Yeah, these are good as well. The other one, caution. That's good. So I instruct us all about ignoring the speed sign. <laughs> it's just about sorting time and slow down. Yeah. The reason is though, what does this do when it's slower? What's um how does this help? Uh, maybe it helps people if they need to change lanes. Yep, yeah, smell some clutch there. Ah, there's someone in front. That smell. Okay. That horrible clutch smell. Yeah. That's what you get if um if you if you overdo the clutch. Yeah. Just have your clutch for well, off the clutch. It's not a clutch burning, but it also makes your left foot off the clutch fully. That's it. Because it prevents that problem. It's not lobbying for nothing, but uh, yeah, when we talk about not balancing for too long, that's why you don't balance for too long. Yeah. See what's the speed going to do now? That's it. So, can we get around these trucks now? Because it's the speed's kind of going up. No gas just for that, so we keep way back. Is that silver one gonna let us go or not? No. Yep. After then, can we go? Yeah. yeah. That's good. That's great. Yep, yeah, that's good. That smells quite weird. It's usually not a clutch, but it smells horrible. It's like a horrible burning smell. You can see the engine t temperature what's that on when it's like eight different lines. That's why it's not full. Because sometimes that could be the engine overheating, but it's not that. Nah. So it just smells really weird now, but that's okay. You might be that truck in front with all the refuse in. Yeah, I think it's that, because sometimes it's rubbish, it smells just like rubbish there when they're clutchy burning. But, uh, <laughs> so it can smell. It's good to know there, because if you just carry on regardless, not checking your dials, you can, uh, you can end up with your clutch blown up. So, yeah, um, speed now is going to be what? 60. Yeah. So it's pretty constant, but it does go up and down every now and then. So, this is good. So we're not getting to the full 70, but it's not much different than 60. Further on, we'll probably go back to being um, to being normal speed. So what was the advantage of 40? Oh yeah, the 40 is because everyone slows down. It stops what you call the shock wave. Where imagine if you do like 70 now and everyone else does 70, 80, you all get to the same point at the same time. That's why it's low speed. You get it quicker. You know, I've said on junctions, if you slow down and roll up, you'll get it quicker. Yeah. It is, it's been proven it does work. If everyone's just a 70, 80, whatever, then um, that car's completely ignoring it. So it's about to get three points. But if you ignore it, then you just have, you get jammed up. The signs are there, the cameras are clearly marked, so people go through and get fined, and then they moan about getting fined, but all the signs are there. Yep, so it seems like you're going slower, but you know you'll get there quicker because the traffic jam ahead is now easing and they're pulling away, then it will go back up to 70. Just have red lights, there's no point in flying towards red lights and then stopping when you could sort of approach them slower and then keep going. So it's still following M42. You see how the sign's kind of covering the whole width of the motorway. Yeah. Apart from the hard shoulder. So you see what's it saying about the hard shoulder? So you're only allowed to use it for a certain amount of time until it gets to a yep. junction. That's it. So that's it. Because do you know what, what's that junction six? So that'd be something that's coming off. Yep. What yeah. what is it there? Uh, you might not know, but what, what is the what's big about junction six? you got Birmingham Airport, the NEC, so massive places to go, so oh, okay. it's like you can use that to get off there, but then after there, get to do with like the train station as well, the airport, NEC, 
It's one of the busiest junctions anyway when you come off there, it's, uh, it's chaos. So, looking way ahead, what's going on? That's it. What's allowing you to do that looking past the van? Um, it's going to say national. That's good. So when you can, that's up to you. That smell's gone anyway. <laughs> yeah. That's it. And this is what you call being boxed in. We're not stuck, but it's when you kind of can't get out. That's good. Because what I'm saying is good is when you come out, you've still got two seconds in front of you. Do you know about the, the pincer movement? If you've ever heard about that on the motorway, but um, sure. the pincer is when it's, well, it's like a phrase I used in a video. But if you haven't seen our video, you wouldn't have seen it. It's when can we get back on the left side or not? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's great. So imagine now if you went to go to the middle lane and someone in the far right also moves left to the middle. That's the pincer. When you move together, bang, you smash in the middle. That's why you got to be really careful looking around. Um, that's what Sam was good before, because you were looking around a lot. So imagine like someone's on the far right line now next to us. You both move together, you're both dead. You just smash the bits. So that's why you have to be careful of. That's why it's good. You always sit up, flash, 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 and then go. See, it's so loud you can't hear when cars are next to you. Now this is where it gets a little bit more confusing, because you're going to have lots of lanes up here, and there's lots of different places you can go. So what's your speed outside now? Uh, this is 65. Yeah, so this one's like 62-ish. So this one is normally more accurate than yours at high speed. At low speed it's not so good, but high speed is actually more accurate. So can we get around the van? Yes. Yeah, that's good. That's great. Because then maybe we'll go left, I don't know, so we keep going. Let's go around. 70 all the way going, that's good. Because maybe they're all going off to the the whatever it is, the northwest. That's a bad line charge there for that car. What, what did he do wrong there? Uh, he just he seen all the way through. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Now, the one we did was gradual. Now, that red one's doing it gradually, that's good. Although he's going to hit the black one if you don't watch out. But this is why you've got to be careful on motorways. Statistically, the safest road you can drive on. But if you do have a crash, you're probably not going to survive it. So it's both good and bad. That's good. That's great. That's good. Now we don't want the toll road, because it says M6 toll, we don't want to pay. I don't know what it is now, about £5 I think to get through. So, following the M42, but not the toll road. If, that's what, this is right. If you'd say, there's our max speed advice on that bend. If you'd say it's brackets toll, by the MC brackets, that means it comes up a lot later, further. Okay. So you follow the northeast, then you'd follow the M1. It's quite easy this, but it is very wide, and in a moment it gets... If you go to America, it's like a normal everyday road, but for the UK it's wide. So, what's happening now? So, now, it's a weird old vet, probably, probably joining them, yes we are. It's quite confusing this, but... There's two roads, That's it. and we're going to join them, I think. Yep, but see, our line though doesn't actually join, our line is its own lane, because the arrow ahead goes to the top of the diagram. The other one, the arrow ahead hit the tail of the other arrow. So what that means is oh, that road there, the far right one, is going to join the other one. So they're joining, and I think where the black one is joins, but we don't join this our line. Obviously you don't ever go over the white lines there, that's what some people do, but that's, uh, that's bad. Right now we can't join, we don't need to join because we're on the road anyway. So it's all about planning ahead. It's quite easy mode try, but if you plan ahead, it's even easier. So now the arrow ahead on that sign doesn't hit the tail of the other one, so that tells us we don't have to join. So it's up to you again, just follow the M42. It is confusing, you've got the M42, M5, M6 and M40 all joined together. M42, but not. Do you do actually ignore the toll because the toll actually is the same way for now. But We're in the right place, Which one's. Let's see. Yep, yeah, that's good. 
So you see the three left one, or three third left ones go there. The three right ones are the toll road. So what's this sign saying on the left of the arrows? So someone's gonna join us. That's good. So could you move if you had to? Uh, yeah, yep, so not just yet, but you could have to, but it's good to leave you a little bit so you get to see, get to kind of assess it. So is anyone on the left coming up? That's good. You said that one does join. Whereas the left one again didn't join, the left one carries on. So most motorways are nothing like this. Most of the time you just go three lanes straight easy. But I wanted to show you this, it's good practice. So in forward to two, where's that? Um, these two. Yep, that's good. So like on Beckett's farm, this one's best because the other one is only really for overtaking if you need to overtake. Lots of signs around here though. So I mean it's a little bit different to driving around town, well a lot different, yeah. totally different kind of driving. And that one, you're not supposed to undertake because obviously you're speeding anyway, but see how that line's different because the, the dots are different, it's like a different road now, so sometimes out there you can pass now, you can pass us, because he's not on the same road, not, not on the same markings. Anyway, honestly, they, they follow the M42. Just imagine if you're now one of the M6, obviously never swerve, if you swerve you're going to kill everyone, but people do do that, they just swerve last minute, that's terrible driving. It's not the white car on the left, it's okay because it's on a different bit, like different bow because of dots, it's not the same as those dots in the middle. So they can pass and go that way, but they're not like that, exactly what I just said. <laughs> Don't just swerve in front of that. That's just bad planning. There's loads of signs for ages. Yeah. So what's that mean, variable speed ends? Does that, this could be really wrong. Does it mean that there's not going to be, it's not going to be changing up and down? Yeah, and down that's it, no, that's good. So it's gone from five lanes to two. It's still a motorway. It looks like a dual carriageway. The motorway is really dual carriageway. Do you remember what you said the difference was with the motorway and the dual carriageway? With the motorways, you can't have um, things that don't have motors. Yeah, that's good. So, can we get around instead of van or do we need to? Yes. That's good. So that van's bad perfect. That van's drifting, not even signalling. Yeah, because you must have a need to go around. There is a need because he's going a bit slower. Because the limit for them will be what? Yep, yeah, that's it. Most companies are limited the trucks, so they can have the foot flat to the floor, they put cruise control on, saves it loads of fuel, it stops the drivers losing their jobs. So how far is Tamworth? Eight. Yep. Yeah. So roughly how long is that gonna take? So it looks a mile a minute, so roughly. So, almost eight minutes. That's it. So a little bit less, because we're now doing 70, so a little bit of gas to 70. It's like one point whatever miles a minute. But it's roughly, the number of miles is about the number of minutes, roughly. So you can plan your journey. Nowadays with sand navs, you don't have to use that so much, but that was in the older days, you could plan your journey doing that. So those phones are the, the right down phones. Not in use actually, <laughs> that one's broken. But if you write it down, it's better to use those in your mobile because I know exactly where you are. It tells you that your precise location. You see all these markers as well, these little white posts. They've all got numbers on. They're every, I can't remember how far it is, every 100 yards or so, something like that. Probably less than that. And um, if you read that number off, they know where you are. If, yeah, they can tell from that. So you say I'm at 46 over 6, they know where you are. That one is 45 over 7, whatever it was. So they know exactly where you are. If you use a mobile and just start on a motorway, it doesn't really help, it could be anywhere. Yeah. They can kind of track you down, but not that well. See, it looks like some road down there kind of skidded off the road. If you haven't got brown down cover, anyone will come and tell you off a motorway, but they'll charge you a lot if you're not in the brown down company. 
it's like 200 pounds or something. The police will do it, but they'll send you a bill. It's not really their job. There's a bright down cover cost out there, 80 pounds, 50 pounds, 80 pounds, whatever. Does it cost more if you're a, like you've just passed? Or is it no, no matter. It's the same. You can have cheapo cover, like 30 quid, but all they do is they'll come and look at it, tell what's wrong, and then drive off and leave you there, which is pointless. Um, they'll tell you off a motorway, but they won't actually tell you home. So the cheapest cover is not worth having. I never have it because I have a new car so often it's all included in the car. But um, I used to pay for it yearly and it was about £80. Pounds. I think it's gone down at about £55 pounds or not. So I'm going to head towards the services. There's two services, but the first services. So if you do it right down, always park as far left as you can on the hard shoulder and also get out of this side of the car. If you get out of the right, you could be dead because you open your door, you have your door taken off. Normally the advice is to wait up like in the hedges up there, get out of the way of the road, don't sit in your car. Unless there's some maniac after you or whatever, it's your advice to sit in the car. If it's night time you're on your own, it can be better. So heading towards the services. You get people who cruise up and down the motorway looking for people broken down to rob them and stuff. So it's quite rare, it's like the old highway highway robbers. But it does happen so if you ride down you have to be careful. So, this is the roundabout I mentioned, the big one, which I'll, I'll help a little bit, but not too much. So you get 3, 2, 1, that's the number of yards, like 300 yards, 200 yards. So you signal about now. You normally, that's it, you signal about 3 or 2 normally. So when you come off, you keep to the far right hand line, because we're going to do U turn and come back down the motor out the other way. So it's round one, two, three, four, five. I think it's sixth exit, but it's back down the M42 south, I think it says, or southwest. And you don't have to negate because the reason is it's so big, it doesn't matter if you do it, it's so big, it's not really a roundabout. You'll see what I mean when we do it. That's it, that's good you say. So two or three, either one are good, but it's good you mention that. So stay in this line you're in now. Do you remember we said don't move right on roundabouts? Yeah. Now you might, then they might have to, I don't know this roundabout that well, but this should be okay. If not, you can just move a signal. It's not wrong to move right, like it's still only front to move left. You can move over, it's just that you shouldn't have to, but because I don't know this one that well, it may be the right line, I can't remember. So now I did this one a few weeks ago and I... Uh, I sort of made a video about this one, it was quite awkward. So that's safe, as long as you're looking, his planning is okay. So we're looking for M42. So could you move right if you had to? Yes. Yep. So on the floor, does it say M42? No, so if you're sitting right now, let's go over now. That's good. Nothing wrong with actually planned it way back. So not ideal, but it's okay. And it's more important you can do that than to get it spot on every time. That's good. This is the part where you don't go right, that's the part I was thinking of. So we stay in this one and it follows around. But it is a confusing roundabout because it's so big, it's so wide. And you see why we're not sick now as you go around? Yeah. See if it looks like you're trying to chain yours on. So we're in 42 southwest. You can see from the sign over there that it's, uh, it's going to be which lanes. I can't see it, but... So this one here is saying left and second left. So this line is fine, this one here, that's good. And it's staying in this one. You can go far left, but only if possible. If there's a car there, it wouldn't be possible. 
Oh, so we move over, don't come off. So move left now, signal, that's it. And then just keep going around, straight ahead. That's good. And then we come off next one. That's good. You hear the horn, that's not for us, but it is a confusing roundabout. You don't have to know it, but it certainly helps if you know that one. So back over to you again, part time signals. Are they on or not? No. No. So if they were, these change really quick. They'll go red, green, a couple of seconds of time. That's good. So now it's mainly up to you. Let's just see how good you can do on this. Is it flat out again? That's it, flat out. That's good. Just keep it in the slipper as long as you can. That's it, so we build up speed. That's good. That's great. And I'll set up to you, but I didn't want to take a risk with that because I was a big truck. That's why we say go, 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 you know, don't slow down. Because I'm low, you can't slow down much. It's quite hard to slow down. That's good. So back over to you, I won't say too much. It's also the wind as well, it's kind of pushing the car back. It's such a windy day. So you can do this if you want, with or without cruise control, it's up to you, it doesn't matter, <coughs> either way, whatever you want, it's up to you. Um, I just won't say too much for now, but uh, just going to see how much you can do on your own. We're now following, uh, just keep following the M42. No lorries around, if there were lorries, you'd be thinking about blowing the lorries around. It's that thing on the bottom of the car in front is kind of flapping around. So if you do this at night time, it's different, it looks a lot different. But do you know about the different coloured studs on the floor? Uh, yeah, we had to, we had to learn this for our theory test. Yeah, so what colour, what colours are they? See, see now, like the white ones, what does white normally mean? Like, I never know what's white right mean. That's in the middle. Yep. And green normally means what? Is that the one where you're coming off? Yep, that seems like go. That's it, like traffic lights. Okay. Red normally means what? Like, in terms of traffic lights. It means stop. Yep, so red is normally on the far edge of the hard shoulder. So on this one, see on the right, your orange lights there, orange cat's eyes, that's the middle, and red is the edge of the hard shoulder. It can be different, I've seen different orders where red is over there, so not always set in stone like it could be. But generally red and amber is saying you know, to watch out danger. Not the, um, the, the amber sign there on the SOS breakdown uh, phone. There are times when it's foggy and the only way you know where you are is like by the colour. So if you see an amber on your right saying don't overtake, people have been known to do mirrors sin or right smashing the barrier because I think there's a line there there isn't because in the fog you wouldn't see right. and you get a big surprise when you hit the barrier. Seems stupid to try and overtake if you can't see Yeah though. that's it yeah. I've only had it once when the fog was so thick I couldn't even see the car in front of me when I was on the motorway that's horrible mm. but um yeah if it's foggy you just get off the road and stop, stop driving. Unless you've really got it, but kind of take it slow then. So that is pretty much motorways. We're going to try more on the way back. They're quite easy, but it's, there's a lot there you need to know. So that car came in, came back out straight away. Yeah, I think we did the ocean. That's good. That's great. So on the back of the truck, it's saying now the speed, it says, is it 16, 15? Yeah. Because they might have their own numbers to the limit to 50 sometimes. That's good. We said about brown signs in the past, what do brown signs mean? What signs are brown? Yeah, they're brown. No, they're colour brown, yeah. Um, well, it's loud on this road, it's horrible. It's like tourist attraction. Yeah, that's it. So we're not going to the Belfry, but if you were, that's, that's where you're going. 
And we did on the mock test following Birmingham Airport with a picture of the plane. Because sometimes people say I can't see the word airport, they go, there isn't a word airport, it's just a plane. If you go to the toll road, by the way, you must have money, because if you haven't got money or a card on you, you're stuck. And if you try and turn around, somebody down there, the police go after them. You can't just turn around and drive the wrong way down the motorway. Um, so just stay away from the toll, or always keep some money in your car. But I wouldn't go on it, there's no point in paying, I don't go that way anyway. So what's his, what is Arrow saying? Yeah, that's good. And then we're going to drive with another road. Yeah. Well, see, this one we're not, because it's four hour heads all next to each yeah. other. Okay. So it's just going to be like four lanes. That's it. But these people may think they've got to join and may try and get in front of you. And all the time you're doing that, you've got to look out for the speed limit as well. Fair enough. Right, that's it. That's it. Goes up and down quite a bit. So, M42. Southwest. Sorry, that's good. That's it. There's actually eight lanes here, but you got a, a physical, like a concrete barrier, blocking the different motorways. So as well, tell well, we had quite a bit of traffic to begin with, and it's gone quite clear now. Just try and keep the speed right up. What's this blue car going to do? Uh, it looks like it looks That's good. So maybe if you keep 70 all the way, he wouldn't go around you. That's why it seems a lot easier while well, he's going there now. No, he's not. He's changing mind. Now, he might change mind again, but let's see. So what's our speed? Uh, 60, 60. No. Okay, slightly enough. So 70, oh, you know, that's speed for us, 70. Oh, See, that's it. That car, well, what's he doing? That's what he never do. He never go over the lines like that. So why is he doing that when he could have just gone here? So, <laughs> what's it? So our line's ending, so what do we need to do? That's good. That's it. Yeah. That's good. But that car just went straight over the line. That's just stupid. Because nobody would expect that at all. You wouldn't plan for someone. Unless you're a good driver, you wouldn't plan for them to come over the line. It looks a bit confused. It might be lost. Yeah, it's got a lot of signs. Yeah. Now, if you don't know Birmingham, this is a horrible place to be. It's only because I've done this hundreds of times. I know, I know where I am roughly. Nice new signs on the floor. It's been painted again. We've well, changed it again. So now, unless it's going right again, there's no need for them to change there. So all that line does, you go the same way as this line. Maybe you'll come back and see. He's kind of moving, he's not really doing much. He's kind of sitting there doing nothing. I mean, maybe he's planning to out those, that's fine. He's just, just all trying to work out what he's doing. So are they joining or is that a different lane? They're joining. That's good. That's it. That's good. That's good. It's good as well she didn't bother moving because there's no need to move. That's good. Yeah, so red one's breaking, why is that? Yeah, that's it. So, just break a little bit should be good. That's fine. Because if that one go around us, we couldn't really, couldn't really get around. So there's no legal minimum, but how slow do you think you'd want to go on a motorway? I think you don't want to go on a slow than 50. That's it. So 60 for life, so you know, 60 on minimum roughly. 50 is okay if you got a reason, like you, you're ill or whatever, but normally 60 minimum. What do minimum speed signs look like? Because there are minimum signs as well. I can't show you around here, there aren't any, but it's quite hard this one. No, I've seen this before. I know that. Um, oh, it's like a it might be no, okay, it might be blue. Yeah.
Yep, that's it. So it's a blue circle with like 40 whatever. So that's good. I've only ever seen two of those in my whole life. So they're quite rare. The line before, why do you think that would be? Why is there a minimum speed on the road? That's it. I think the one I saw was in the tunnel in Wales. Like, cause if you go too slow through the tunnel, someone can fly through behind and smack you. But uh, I can't remember that was years ago. But... So this way, there's no variable speed. There is, but it's not on. It's kind of going you know, 70 all the way. But... It's good as well. You're checking all the mirrors as well. So it's good. So I won't summer truly or be now, it's just up to you to uh, to do this. Okay. One thing I will say is that how long would you drive for without a break roughly? Yep, yeah, so two hours is somewhere around there, so it's recommended every two hours of a break, roughly. Um, if you don't, no, it does get very tiring on the motorway. So red X again, like the you know, lanes, not available. Okay, normally the hard shoulder is only for doing what? Um, it's just a view every time. Yep. So if you go out of Birmingham, I think there are other places now where they've got it. I saw on the news the other day, they are trying to stop this because what's the problem with the hard shoulder being open for use? If, where would you go if you're in That's it. If someone breaks down, you're completely stuck. It's horrible. So, Everyone said that when they first did it, and it's uh, it's not nice. They did it to make less traffic, but if you buy it down, you, you know you're in big trouble because we'll put a hazard lights on, try and tell people you're slowing down, but the traffic are lost. Yeah. So struggling to be extremely in fifth a long time. That's good. Or well, maybe three. Let's see. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's good. This way it's good to win a motorway because it, it's so fast. Is that that good there, that triangle, what's that mean? Is that little triangle in the floor? Yeah, I saw it. Um, I'm not sure what it is. That's that, like warning, isn't that's it? That's it. So warning triangles, if you break down, you put that behind your car. Someone's broke down and they forgot to start the warning triangle with them. But I uh, could have had that, I haven't got one of those. So uh, someone's left it there. If you do it, it's got to be, I can't remember how far it is, but way back from your car, like 100 feet. A lot of people put it like by the back bumper, it's no good because it doesn't give anyone any warning that you're there. So you put it like way back from your car, like where that black one in the middle line is, you put your sign here at least if you broke down there to give people some warning. It's good you're looking there as well, so we practiced around ready just while we did all that stuff. So what was the last speed we had? Now it doesn't say here, so what, what do you have to assume? So it should be the same? Yep, so just it's for just for now. It's saying it's not, it's saying it's 70, but it hasn't actually said that it's gone back up. So for it's safe just for now. But none of them are on. So there should be signs in a bit saying back to what it is, or back to national, or whatever. It's quite unusual to have no, uh, no signs on. It's quite busy anyway, so no point going much quicker. It's rare, it's because normally they are, they go back up straight away. Or if it's still 40, the signs are normally still on. I'm just trying to keep it on 40, just in case. If it's still on for ages and ages, you think, oh yeah, it's gone back up. Because sometimes the signs just aren't put back up. 
which is probably the case here actually. But it's because this one at 40 and then we look way ahead. So unless it actually says 40 on that, it shouldn't be 40 on the camera. No. So speed up a little bit because it's not going to be 40 now. You can see on the back, this one has got the cameras on, so keep the force using, guys. It's not worth risking, but after this one, it should be back to being national. That sign ahead of us, that sign, so I just flickered. Uh, really? Of course, I was flicking it. I don't know if it's. Let's see. Just to actually do four years ago through these, just for now to be sure, because I'm pretty sure it's gone back to normal, I don't want to die at the risk of, uh, of any of that trouble. No, it must be back to normal, so we'll go through this one, and I'll have to speed back up. Okay. Yeah, it's back to normal, so the signs is not working well. Run him, so let's go. That's it. If you've everyone else is doing that, I mean, that's gone back up, and it's fine. Because to be caught speeding, the sign must be on. It must say there what it is. Because otherwise, it wouldn't be fair if you know if you got caught and it, it didn't tell you what the speed was. Yeah. So I'd have could say this was 14. So well, how am I supposed to know that? He doesn't even say for me. We'd have a lot of um, people that would be catching. Yeah, that's it. So it's still following southwest, just keep following this road. Like if you join the motor right there, the signs don't say what the speed is. You'd have no way of knowing, so yep, it's back up. That's good. Because it's quite wide and there's plenty of room, that black one's going to join. Again, the hard shoulder here doesn't exist at the moment, it's just, uh, just another lane. But there are times when you can't remember what the sign said. I like think it was that last one, 50 or 40 or whatever. But That's the chief, because either way, because it's quite easy to say, you can if you, if you would make progress, then you can. That lorry now is moving itself, so. Okay. <laughs> you see it go around to someone else that's going slow. So that was a very tight squeeze for that truck. So at the moment, you wouldn't really gain anything by by overtaking. Yeah. We're not going that far anyway, it's only another bit before we come off. I don't know how long, but not too long. It's about uh, five or ten minutes, I think. There's an ambulance. Yeah. That's good. Be in the right lane. Yeah. So make sure we don't pass this car, so we've got to hold back a little bit. Because you're not supposed to pass on the left, because we're in the same bit. That's it. So they've got speed up. That's what I'm about. Don't bother going around because then they have to go faster. But that's good. Yep. So everyone will probably move over. For them, that would be good. What's up? 
the ambulance. No. I'll be coming off. He's moved over. We'll be coming off. and go down the old shoulder if he's if he needs to go that way. Normally, the ambulance will be on the hard shoulder anyway. That's uh, if you're going to come off there, but they don't go all the way down the road in the hard shoulder, but they normally use it a bit more. Yeah, I think it's coming off. So again, it's up to you if you overtake or whatever, you don't, I'm not saying you have to, but if you need to, that's up to you. That's good. Yep, yeah, that's good. So fast going, that's good. That's it. That's great. Because what I do now, you're out of the way. It's much easier for us to speed up in that truck. What's that lit up sign saying? Um, something that's going to join us. Yep, that's oh, it. This. That's it, that's good. Oh, it's a bit like it's half deaf. Or is it, does it mean that another one further on? Or does it mean that? That was on there, yeah. He's also saying don't go on the hot shoulder. Because this was so confusing because there's bits you can, bits you can't. So it's still M42, because it's going to split in a bit. Now that sign there was saying M40, which way? I don't know. No. So, so if you're saying M40 left, so I'll do this line, we'll probably only be that way. So if you kind of need to get to the middle line, so we sit, that needs to break a bit, but is he going to come in? So can we go? Uh, no. That's good, yeah, that's good, that's good, okay. that's good. It's probably going to hold back here, but that's good, that's good. That's good. That's great. So what happened there is our black car, sorry, not the black one, the one behind us, on the left now. He, as we signalled, he came in, so we kind of swap. But that van was good. Most times, most people will hold back and let you in. Like, if he signalled right now, you wouldn't accelerate and block him. You'd hold back and let him in. But that one, the M40 was saying left. So the well, that's probably going to be M40 only, and we want this one to go right. It's only because I've been here hundreds of times, I know the route as well, but if you don't know the route, you could have left your lane and come back over here. But if you don't know that, you can think, well, I'll change over. Like the one before that car that was changing when you didn't need to. It's easy if you know it, but it's hard if you don't. That's okay if it's good. Because it's not sort of 40 ish, it's going to do that. Those green cameras are there, they're for like traffic, um, they're not speed cameras. Not the ones on the bridges. Every time there's a speed camera, do they have to have a sign that says there is, or can they have secret ones? Uh, so you can have, I think, from what I was read the other day, they don't have to say the speed, but they have to say there's a camera there. Um, okay. but I don't think, actually, I don't think they have to say the cameras there. And this, by the way, this just means not like, variable ends, it doesn't say, but not like, variable limit ends. Yeah, um, so I think when he said, because I was reading about that the other day, he said, oh, they don't have to warn you that what the speed is or what the camera's there. But it's kind of irrelevant because if you're not speeding, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But um, I've never seen a camera without a warning sign. So I have to look into that. Something in the road there. Isn't it? Like some countries, they, they can just have cameras anywhere, but. Over here, they kind of they kind of warn you what the speed is going to be. So we're going to come off where the services are, because just follow signs for services. 
I think that's junction it's three or four, I can't remember now. So most motorway journeys are nothing like this at all. What we've done is gone round and round a big loop and to d deliberately make it quite confusing. Normally you would just join a motorway, you go straight like this, you come off, you're there. That's all there is to it. But if you pass through Birmingham, you have to deal with that. Um, but most of the time it's much, much easier than you've seen today. Like you've been doing this for maybe two hours, just straight. That's quite a short trip. Is that? Yeah. So next one's ours. So he doesn't say service. So it's about a mile away. So. Well, actually, so we don't want all next one is around. I mean, no matter where we go, but um, yeah, we'll come off on the next one. That'll be fine. But it is the next one down with the services, but this will do for us. Yeah. yeah. We've seen a lot of bad lane changes today from people. Oh, suddenly swerving off. It's good though because obviously with this coming up soon there's no point in going around. Oh that black one is out but um, pretty much all these are probably coming off. Another stretch limo keeps seeing them. Yeah, that's it. And I'm going to follow Birmingham, which is going to be, if you keep to the right, I think it's on the right, it's only which way we're going now. So, single comes off, nothing. So, is it the correct way? Yep, so right, we check the numbers up. Um, yeah. So, just right, you don't have to know the exit, so three. But if you don't know the exit, you know it's right. We know it's not left, we know it's not ahead, so we know it's right. The reason I'm saying that is that sign is really bad. If you don't know it's right, it's hard, because you get caught out of there. You can see the sign by the time you've changed, but you can't change. Is it worth signalling on this one or not? Probably not no. because it's quite big. That's it. So you don't have to because you are effectively following a line or a lane. But if you think it would help anyone, you can. But there's no fix for all of it if you do or don't. I would definitely, when you come off, to make sure everyone knows. But okay. not, no, no. But when can you get over? Yeah, that's good. That's it. This is back towards you know to where we used to go. So we're going to do a little bit of bay parking just to finish off. That's what that works. So the roundabout will go uh, left first exit. It's about half a mile away. Yeah,
was good. That was fun. So it feels good. He works well. That's fun. It doesn't matter. Two and three are very similar in this particular car. It's pretty much the same either way. We're not going to go left. We're going to go ahead. We used to go left there, but you can do that in third. It's not brilliant, but it does work. I think we demonstrated that on the lesson one day, where he's all turning around. It, it struggles a bit. Doesn't like it, but it does actually work. It's only bad like it was in fourth. He will be stalling and all sorts of bad stuff. So just keep following ahead, and that will bring us out back to where we need to be. That's good because all the stuff you've done today shows that you would still have passed the test by doing that, which is good. Because sometimes you can come out to pass it and things start going backwards, or things start going wrong. But uh, there's been nothing you've done that would, you know, that's, that's kind of worse than it was before. So end of the road, we'll go left, but it's a long way to go. Speeds down there. It must be by that sign because it, it's all roll through. So you don't as well get there, then roll through, and then break. Okay, a meter or two here and there, no one's going to be that picky about that. But they can, by law, have like cameras on the back, like the ones on the motorway. They can, that does come into effect from that sign. I don't even know how the moaning thirst cameras are even on because I know the ones around the town have been turned off for the last what, three years now. The motorway ones I'm not sure about, but uh, they've turned all of them off, so I should imagine they've turned it off as well. But I don't know, it's just best not to risk it. The new ones are coming in now, the digital ones, which don't need film, so it's a lot, lot cheaper for them to run. What do you they don't need film? No, exactly. They stopped to turn them all off because they couldn't afford the film because it's like expensive film to put in the cameras, but um, I'm pretty sure the motorway ones, because they're quite new, well, they're 10 years old now, but um, they're, uh, they're digital ones, so I think they can do like 100,000 pictures a minute or something, or an hour or something like that. But they, they, you get to find straight through. You don't have to wait weeks like before, you just come straight through, because they know who you are straight away. I think I remember that once before where I was driving myself and it, it was all on then, it never said back to national. But the fact the signs turned off just means it's back to national. Driven this road is really bad, and the massive curb sticks out on the left. So I think we did some lessons if we can. Yeah, we did. So just keep well to the right. As you are, it's good, it's just that it sticks out really bad. It's not where the tree roots come out. It's good. It's hard to even see that, but there's all the, the roads just collapsed. That's good. Do you remember saying the lessons I left for mentioning on yours, but I normally say I'll see coaches coming down his road. That's one of them. It's so far over this side. Yeah, but you, you can bring them down. It doesn't say you can't, but it's not the best thing to do. Because for them to get to the motorway, where they're probably going, they're supposed to go the way we went at the beginning, like the, the, the main road round. But sometimes I think, oh, we've got to go down there. Yep, so end of the road, left. Oh, I don't think that way too soon. 
That's good. As long as he works, he's good. Because when you're learning, we were saying about that, that's good. That shows that you, you didn't do it too soon, because when you're learning our normal lessons, we did that later, so we encourage you to steer, get away from the curb, steer, then one. But you can mix it up, you can do whatever you want as long as it works. So it's not the wrong way, it's just, you know, you can leave it later, you can do it earlier. It's not the thing about second or third gear, you know, it doesn't matter as long as you get one or the other. It's not always that important. So next roundabout right. It's also nice to see if you can get the speed down because we've been on the motor for quite a bit. Okay, this speedo bounces around, I can't tell exactly what it is, but it's just good to, to be able to keep it down. But there's also but coming down to one you gave yourself more time to be seen by that, that car that truck was kind of hiding us it's because rocks remember lessons we kept saying go and keep out and now you did that as that car saw you held back whereas on the start of lessons we kept saying go go you don't hold back too much that's why because now it's being more positive that's much better so we're gonna go uh, next main road on left, just to avoid getting stuck in a traffic jump. That's it. Somewhere back we used to go just get just to the uh, station. We will be a little bit early, but we've uh, we've had what, what 42 hours for anyway, so that's not too bad. That was good though because you did the mobile really well. You went all up and down. We didn't get stuck in the jam. If you get stuck, you could be there for like 20 minutes just sitting there. But uh, we didn't. So, it's the same as before, end of the road left and then next road on the right. So that kind of, you know, can seem quite easy compared to before. So same as before, that next left and back down there.
Okay, so into the road right, then into the road left, and then we're back to the house. It's good because you're doing it slow, you're doing it sort of steering's careful. You're not changing anything too suddenly, so that's good. Yep. So back up to the station bit, then we're going to be by parking where we began. Uh, well, actually, we'll we're going to the other end of the car park because it's quite down there. So it'll be better to give that a go then we can try it on the busy part as well. So if we go end of this road left to where we did that all time, about three or four lessons before the end, uh, it should be empty that car park. Good, so, yep, that's good. So, pick any bay. Do you remember what we did about the lining up? It's meant to, I'm meant to line up the, the line sort of midway through the window. Yep. Is that right? That's it. So, by keeping out, this is easy as well. By keeping wider, <coughs> you've got more room to actually see where the line is. So, you just pick a line and just back it in. That's it. You can tell by judgment if you can't see the line, but you can. You can judge how we'll go in which, which bay. Um, I think it's that one there. Yep, which one's up? So, one, two, three. Yep, so the one with like, the, the sign at the back of it. That's what you mean, the one with the post, the lamp post. Yeah. That's that it. Let him say that will go in there. Let him, let's give that a go. That was a football game, didn't know there was a football picture there, but no. football game going on. See that mirror, what's going on there? Is that good or bad? Uh, I think it's good. That's good. You can see the one opposite as well. It's on level. Okay. No. Just turn back, turn back. Do you want to go to one? Or just go forwards. So you've got to turn back quicker. So when you're straight, you must turn back quick. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then that's it. So it's all good, it's just turning quicker. So the end, how much does it go from full left to middle? How much does it turn not from full left to middle? How much does that um, turn? One and a bit. Yep, yeah, that's it. So you one a bit quick. See, if you saw a half, if you saw three quarters, then you've already done half. Of it. Well, let's come back and finish that one off. Okay. Okay. No, I do. So we're going to try another one where you finish, because then you do one there, but that's all you do. So when you're look ahead, as soon as you're straight, quick turn to turn quick. So you whip the wheel around really quick, and it goes in. Because if you don't do it quick, by the time you've done it, you've already gone, not be on the bay. Well, let's go and try it on back where we finish. Oh. Yep. So even though it's still on the hill, you've got that camera. So right this one. Oh. So we we'll go back down to the bit and we'll do one there. 
but it's hard to park an empty bike. You don't normally park an empty bike like that because you just don't. You, if you do that, you normally go forwards. So it's much easier when you, in a way when you've got cars. So we'll try one on this car park if there's a bike parking. But um, I'll show you what I mean about the about the way it's easier. Because if you've got a car next to you, try and always hit the car, and by trying to hit it, you'll be good. So if we go down the left as always, and we'll do it on between the silver and the blue. I've got to walk. Let's see. Yep, so roll. Or any of these doesn't matter, but let's try between between so two. No, this, this, this doesn't work for real because this only works when the car park empty. So if you afford a little bit more, when you do it for real, you've got to judge where it is. You can't line things up. It doesn't work. So if you go left a little bit, because this car park's so narrow, you can't do that. So straight ahead. It'll work now because if you pick one of these bays, it'll work. But back there, when it's between two, it doesn't work. So you pick like this line, any line around here. And then just like I did before, that'll work fine. Because there's cars in the middle, you can't always just turn it left all the way. Like now, even now, you might not be able to go left all the way. So it's much harder on this car park than most car parks. Let's give that a go. So, so is that going to hit those cars or not? Um, I'm not sure. No. So it should be good. So let's just take a little bit of turn off. So back to the middle. That's it. All the way back to the middle. That's it. And then. Turn again about now. That's why it's hard in this car park because you can't just swing as you normally would. Because I would have if you hadn't turned back, that would have probably hit that car. But now they won't be on this car park. Just sort of stop out there, forward and right because you have to wiggle in. So forward and right, then back in. Okay, this is something you'll just get the more you do. There's no way I can start line this up, line that up. You just get it the more you do. Okay. But then it's all back in, just back out that line. So just give you right for now. Just come back like that. And then straighten the wheel up. So full turn left. That's it. And then come back a little bit sooner the line left all the way now. That's it a lot. And then back to the middle, the bow now. That's it. So a lot of adjusting, you can't just go left back. It doesn't work, the way you learn it for lessons doesn't work for real. Okay. That's good. That's why you don't do it that way much. That's good. So it works, but you can't on this car park go left and in. If that car wasn't there it would have worked, but it is there, so you can't. If you go left and back, smash. Yeah, that car. So you have to just go left, middle, left, middle, left, middle, right, go forward a bit, back a bit. That's just what you do. You can't just go back in. It's because they put the bays there to get more po more people parked. It's hard. Without the bays being there, it will be easy. Yeah. Well, let's turn off there. Yep, that's about it. So, the motorway is anything on that you want to go over? No, I feel quite happy. Uh, that's it. That's all good. No real trouble there at all. Well, so, just got to enjoy driving around now. Yeah. The bay parking, you will get the hang off, you've just got to get used to doing it, you know, going round and round and round. But that's up to you. I have a card for <laughs> Thank you very much for um, <laughs> that's good. teaching well, me. I've that later. really enjoyed um, learning, it's been great. So, very much looking forward to starting driving. Yeah. That's good. Good news <laughs> for once. Thank you very right. much. I'll see you then.